this is a cinder cone formed by cinders shortly after uh, a volcanic eruption. So you can see here that the rock formations are like chunky and big. Look at this. So much different, and they're very light. They're very porous. Cooled in the air, the lava was as it rained down and created these fields. Really quite epic. Even out here among what seems desolate, we can see all these different kinds of lichen that is growing on these rock formations, and they're just absolutely stunning to look at, exceptionally colorful, really quite beautiful. aspects of this monument is that so much just so much life here and you wouldn't expect it at all uh, there's over 300 animal species and over 750 uh, types of vegetation and uh, it's just it's phenomenal where, where life can where life can uh, exist. Hope you all are about <clears throat> ready to do some caving. We're about to head into Boy Scout Cave. <laughs> right into that hole. <laughs> on the ceiling here. They're so beautiful. I don't know if you can see that, but there's water dripping off of them. This cave is full of, of ice. So we're in a smaller cavern here. And you know, just for, just to think about when this formed, this is about 2100 years old. That means Julius Caesar was walking the earth around the time that this was hardening and forming. That's fantastic.